In this video, we're going to understand cap independent translation. So we've discussed before that during eukaryotic translation, because eukaryotes only have the five prime cap and the poly A. So really, we have to understand that we are told so far that the five prime attaches to the ribosome, and that's how it scans for the star codon, and that's how translation starts. But there is something called cap independent translation, and that that's that happens when the cell is under immense stress and it's trying to survive and it needs its necessary tools for, for survival, such as during apoptosis, the whole cell is dying. It's, it still has some kind of en en enzyme activity inside it. And there's something called internal ribosome entry sites. And these internal ribosome entry sites will allow the ribosome to enter on the mRNA without the use of e5 prime and that's the only thing we talked about that's the only thing i want to that's what well, that's what essentially cap independent translation is and this is another difference and, and i forgot to mention this in the previous video we talked about the differences between eukaryotic and prokaryotic translation transcription and and we forgot to i forgot to mention that there's the five prime cap and the poly a um that, that should that should have been here so hopefully you can add that in your head